Hello and welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Well, today in this video, I wanna talk about tape. As you know, I work in the film and television industry. I have for over a couple of decades now. When a camera assistant needs to put down a mark, it needs to go down in a hurry. <laughs> there is no waiting around to watch someone pick away at a roll of tape going pick, 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 pick. You cannot do that. <laughs> It would be incredibly unprofessional and really unpopular. Likewise, when the mark has to move, you cannot be sitting there picking at the floor trying to get your mark up. <laughs> It just doesn't work. You gotta have a more efficient method than that and camera assistants over the years have developed a way of tabbing tape that is super efficient. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you that tip because I think it's not just camera assistants that benefit from this. I think the average homeowner or DIY person could really benefit from a quick and easy way to tab tape every time to save you from the aggravating and irritating pick, pick, pick. <laughs> You will never have to pick at your tape again if you do this one simple thing. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. Let's get going. This trick works well with paper-based tape. It does not work well or at all with something like a packing tape or a vinyl tape, gaffer tape, duct tape. That kind of tape rips in a very different way. So it just, this technique probably won't work with that. If you can get it to work with that, let me know. <laughs> But for now, let's just say this technique works with paper tape of a variety of widths and a variety of thicknesses. So every camera assistant learns this trick pretty early. Basically what you do, I'm right-handed, so I hold the roll in my right hand. I, I grab the end of the roll, which already has a tab on it because I put it there the last time I pulled a piece off. I pull the piece of tape out. I put my right index finger under the piece of tape, so now it is touching the sticky side of the piece of tape. I use that to anchor the tape and get a little twist going. I release my index finger and push down my right thumb. At this point, I've made the tab. It's totally done. I just have to tear off my piece. I use the edge of the roll of tape, keeping my thumb pushed down, which keeps the tab firmly pressed against the outside of the roll. And I just pull. And there you go. You end up with a nice tab on the end of the roll of tape. And when you pull the next piece of tape off that roll, the tab will be on the piece you pull off. And if you use the same technique, you'll be leaving a tab behind on the roll for the next piece you pull off, etc., etc. Does it work with other kinds of tape? Absolutely. Here's some standard masking tape, one and a half inches wide. But yeah, it works perfectly with that too. Pull it out, wrap your finger under, create that 90 degree fold, push down with your thumb, rip, there it goes. Will it work with other kinds of tape? Yes, it works with frog tape. And it takes a little bit more practice, but it will work with a two inch wide paper tape. Pretty much any kind of paper tape that you can think of that you're probably going to use as a homeowner or DIY person would benefit from this technique. So there you go, everyone. Hopefully that helps you out. And the dreaded pick, pick, pick is a thing of the past. If it did, please feel free to like or subscribe. Liking or subscribing really helps the channel. And if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. And otherwise, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.